the biochip. How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware? Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. It was rare as fuck and cost a fortune, yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes, which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for you, Arinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Huh. Imagine my luck. To be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Well, speak. Say something. Okay. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. I don't mean to rush you, but... Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. You are silent. But you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me, what's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. You are silent. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Jeez, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn. It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts, slowly but surely.
know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. This is costing me time. I'll try. Just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese at my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gunk. He just Forget admitted Kang you're Tao. right. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice. He might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Long as we find someone fluent in techno battle. B. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Mm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhumane. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No, uh, no need. Are stripping our world and lives naked piece by piece? Can't turn a blind eye to that. This is the part where you divulge your master plan to annihilate Arasaka? No. It's the part where I say I despise petty merc thieves who think they're hot shit rebels after setting foot in the afterlife. Might think you took on Arasaka, but you're just a bug they scraped off the sole of the boot tossed in the trash. Ain't the only one to get flatlined by Sokka. Except I didn't let them scoop out my mind. Did you lock it in a trinket? Ha. Huh. I brought war to their doorstep, kid. Your grand plan? To steal their fucking car. You sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well... Seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. P. 
pisses me off that our memories blend. Don't have my own anymore. The chip's the worst thing to ever fucking happen to me. Mean to say I haven't earned the top spot yet. An arrogant asshole's no small problem, but it ain't my biggest. Dying is. Death by becoming someone else. You didn't do anything to deserve that fate. You afraid of death? I'm afraid of wasted opportunities. Like Arasaka Tower. Came through it as you can see. And I ain't done with them yet. Not having control. You can't stand it. Seeing some things are out of your hands. Don't be ridiculous, V. Whole world used to revolve around Silverhand. Now, no one gives a shit. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Johnny, take a sec. We gotta. Fucking hell. You still don't see Johnny. it. Johnny. But you will one day.
get in, we'll find it easier to talk. Hello, V. Know my name. How? When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? Didn't answer my question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. So I'm from another world to you? From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, V. There lies my home. Come on, let's get you back to Delamain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope y'all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit, an independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world, away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe ought to figure it out with Dell. set some terms. Oh yes, terms there will be. But not with Delamay. Farewell, V. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. <laughs> I've re-established the link. A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing, that one. Is that so? Well. I've transferred a share of your fee to your account.
haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Why call me, of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yahoo, bye. I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure. Let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. You need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. Maman Brigitte? That sounds like a spooky cult alias. I've not had the pleasure of asking her personally. But it is what everybody calls her. I doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. Really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos, won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. 